Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tony Stewart's All American Racing. This game comes out on uh, Friday, the 4th, coming up here really soon, actually. You'll be able to uh, get your hands on it. Big thanks to Monster Games for sending this to me early, and uh, I can show it to you today. If you're used to a Monster Games title, you'll notice the UI is uh, pretty similar to what we have seen before over the years. So you have your gameplay, driving, controls, uh, and so on and so forth. Now I have a Thrustmaster TSPC Racer, and uh, it worked right out of the gate for me. So what I had to do was go into the wheel properties. I made sure that that was at 360 degrees, and then in-game I'm using about 270, I think is what it is, uh, and it works out just fine for me. But uh, AI difficulty, we have them set to expert, um, and we have our uh, damage on 50%, all uh, yellows there. As far as audio goes, you can um, have the uh, you know the announcer guy and all that stuff. I have that turned off. Um, you can see where I have everything set up here. Uh, race music turned off, crowd level turned down. You have wall reverb and bass boost making their way back into another game once again. Um, but we're going to go to quick race and check it out. So you have three series to choose from. You have the big block modified cars. You have the U.S. legend cars and the street stocks. Uh, they all drive differently. Um, they're all kind of their own animals in a sense. But the big block modifieds, what we're going to do first, it is one of the most difficult ones to drive for sure. Now I have a custom car uh, set up in here, uh, which is my 27 car here with the black and white scheme uh, that I made in the little paint booth thing. But uh, they did add me into... Uh, the roster for this series in particular. So yes, you'll have to battle me out there on the track once again, put me in the wall or race me clean however you want to. But that it, I, I'm blown away. I didn't ask them to do this and uh, I just fired up the game and I was like, oh my God, okay, they put me in the game. <laughs> Thanks once again, guys, it's uh, a, a true honor. So the track selection we have here are uh, fantasy tracks. Um, and uh, you know, the way that uh, I've heard from them is that this is going to be a platform that they're going to add to. So uh, keep that in mind. We might see, you know, real tracks make their way in uh, before too long, but you can see the track list right there. There's a bunch to choose from. Uh, we're going to go out to uh, Diamond Grove. Is that the one? No, I wanted to go to a faster track. Let's go to Straight River Speedway. That's what we're going to do. And we can uh, go into our quick race settings here. And uh, you can, you know, adjust things as you want to there as well. Car shake effect. You can turn that off. Uh, you can turn it up however you want. Car identifiers, I like them turned off personally. That's how we have it set up. Let's go to Straight River. I'm going to show you just how fast this thing loads. It loads really quick. I'm on the PC version for Steam, uh, and it loads really, really fast. Uh, so we can jump in. We can change things out just like we saw in the Tony Stewart uh, sprint car uh, racing game. Uh, and that is we can go in and adjust the tuning this way. Uh, we're going to go with a 75% loose on this guy. Uh, and we're going to jump straight into qualifying. I don't need to uh, do any practice. All right. And we are out on the track. I have the wheel cam up here so you can see how I'm getting around here. Uh, they are boasting about a new physics engine this time around and uh, just redoing the physics on cars. And I got to say right out of the gate, that is true. You can see just how much counter steering I am doing here getting around the track. A little bit more there. There we are. Awesome. And uh, we'll see where we end up here. Pole is 12.575. I don't think we have anything for that, honestly. We went a little too wide there. Just try to get it dug down in there a little bit more. It is a workout to get this car around here. 21st. And that's going to put us, uh, what? But he heat one, starting sixth. Not too bad. That wasn't too bad. We will continue uh, from here on out. And uh, you see the results there. So... 21st who got uh, the poll of course it's tony stewart uh vincent jackson keith torres Corey price and rounding out the top five is jesse agard so let's go ahead and uh, continue here wow i'm like out of breath from driving these cars uh heat one racing let's do it all right so the top five advanced to the a main the top two advanced to the qualified dash so it's about to get a little crazy here all right, it's under the lights, first time, ready to go racing here. About to drop the green flag, green flag in the air. Want to get down to the bottom as soon as we can because the top we're going to be sitting ducks. Out of the way, buddy. The leaderboard up into the wall we go. We only have a few laps to get this going. I got to say, though, another thing they've added is that uh, the cars now collect mud and dirt all over them. 
throughout the race, which is really cool. And that was missing last time. You just pull out in front of me, dude. You're going to get run over. I'm going to give you more contact there. And I'm having to pump the gas sometimes to help the car rotate a little bit too. Gotten to them. Okay, you're going around. There you go. There you go. I was going to wreck them. Uh, caution comes out, but man, they got in front of me a few times there and was just slowing me so far down. I got impatient with them. So it happens. Okay. Well, start on the inside. Here we go. Racing again. Green flag in the air. Driving on the inside of the 99. Wow. <laughs> These things are tough to drive, man. They, they really are. Watch out. Ooh, nice slot job. There they are again. It's the same person from last time. Inside of the 85. Racing the hell out. You're hitting the brakes in front of me, 92. Going to get you wrecked. We move up to third. Keep driving it. We'll take third all the way. Wow. What a, what a drive that was. And now we advance to the A main. I am losing my breath from driving these cars. Like, wow. So we finished third there, as you can see. Let's show you what the uh, replay mode looks like. Uh, you can always, you know, hide all of the stuff if you want to as well. But uh, it's pretty similar to what we saw in the Tony Stewart sprint car game. But yeah, I mean, just from these camera views, you can tell, you know, how much more everybody's driving to the right without to the left hand side. That was me getting in the wall like a dummy. Well, car setup wise, I'm gonna change it to one more tick loose. I want a little bit more out of this car. I do, I do. Uh, so we're gonna select that and uh, we're gonna start the A main and hope for the best here. All right, here we go. A main, baby. Ready to go green, green flag in the air. Almost missed my shift there in the beginning. You have to use the brakes. Like I don't remember having to use the brakes so much on dirt before in the previous game. There we go. Just getting our groove. Little contact there on the guy on the outside. 19 to go. We just need to find a rhythm here around this track. That's for certain. The 83 dive bombing the hell out of us there. Wow. Not sure who that was. Might have been Vincent Jackson, but I'm not sure. The 83 gave him a little taste of his own medicine on that dive bombed him and the yellow flag comes out wow okay i'm learning really quick we got to protect this inside lane a lot ready to go green green flag in the air once again got into my gears there on the inside of tony stewart watch that inside lane because they will be dive bombing we got around tony there for a little bit it's not gonna last too much longer though i have a feeling Although we're running away from it right now. Let's keep doing it. So you do have other views, of course. This is the one I'm most comfortable in driving. But I can show you the other ones, and we'll, we'll do that here in a minute after the, uh, the main race. All right, we're, we're finding our way around this track a little bit better now. Look at that. I didn't even have to lift it all on that corner. All right. It's so nice when you're out front and you don't have to worry about other cars. There we go, drive it like that. Now I did uh, play multiplayer uh, in testing sessions with the uh, devs. And uh, gotta say, it was pretty it was pretty fluid. It was pretty darn fluid experience. So multiplayer racing on the dirt's always a blast with your friends. And uh, you definitely see that happening. All right, let's just uh, keep keep this up right now. The only person that has anything for us is Vincent Jackson, and you know Vincent isn't too happy with us from earlier. And he is making gains on us every lap. Let's keep doing our thing here. I find myself not having to use so much steering input whenever you're not in traffic trying to avoid the other cars. That or we're just getting better at this track as time goes on here. I'm getting smoother with the wheel. There we go. Awesome. Come on, keep it up. He is gaining still. Eight laps to go. But he's got to stay on our toes here. 
and hold off Vincent. He is he's right there. I just scrub up too much speed. <laughs> it's getting getting close. Closer and closer each time. We are both aren't lifting at all, but it's a gamble because you can do something like that real stupid and choke it. Oh, made contact with Vincent and wrecked him because we sent it all the way down in there. Yellow flag comes out. Oh, well, I was driving like an idiot on that. That's that is my fault. But you can see right now all the dirt that's collecting all over the front of my car here. All right, here we go. Green flag in the air. Only a few more laps to go. Let's just keep it up out front. Chuck Parker, and then we have Corey Price behind us trying to get to our back bumper. Let's try to drive away from him. Five to go. There we go. Well, you saw right there uh, when we made our mistake. That was just got into the corner too deep and didn't lift enough gas. And we spun the car almost completely out. Uh, and we lost so much speed by that happening. Vincent was able to pounce on us. Three to go. They're trying to get to me. Now let's uh, talk about the elephant in the room. And that is the sounds. The sounds aren't the greatest thing in the world at all. Uh, and they're fully aware of that. It's something they would love to uh, to get into, but recording um, sounds is a uh, is a pretty big thing to do, pretty expensive thing to do on a smaller budget. So that was the first thing I told them. I said, "Man, I really wish we had some decent sounds." But that aside, look at that. We'll pull out the win on the A main. Wow, that was that was not easy. My hands are a little uh. A little worked out there for sure. Let's check out the replay. All right, so we take it home with the win there in first place. Second to Corey Price, third to Jesse Agard, and then uh, fourth to Samantha Wilson, fifth to Patrick Young. Where did uh, Tony end up after it was said and done? 18th. Interesting. Where did uh, Vincent go? Vincent uh, drove his way back up to a top 10 in ninth. Uh, yeah, we definitely had something to say about that. Well, let's check out the legend cars. We have a few uh, drivers here in the legends if you want to check out uh, who they are. Here you go. A um, few of uh, the Tony Stewart ones are in there as well. Uh, but I'm just going to use my custom car for this one. Uh, and then we're going to jump in to another track. Uh, let's go to Elm Creek. That sounds like fun. All right. So I'm in practice. I do want to show you the different views and stuff like that. So we have our hood view, which is my favorite view, honestly. Then we have our cockpit view, which uh, we don't have a actual... Um, we don't have a FOV slider, sadly. And I said that was something I really wish we would have. Um, but at least the FOV is zoomed in to where it's not so far out. You uh, you just don't have any sense of speed, you know? So getting used to this car. And then we've got our, uh, you know, bumper camera here. Sliding her sideways. And then our uh, outside view, which you can see just... How much you uh, you do work the, the wheel, how sideways they get in this view, which I know a lot of guys are going to be using this view, so I wanted to show it to you. I just need to get better at the track. See, if, you, if, you, if you're good at the track, you know, you're throwing the car in there properly, and you're, you're seeing just how much counter steer you need uh, to get the car through the corner. And that's something that was really missing in the last game. The Tony Stewart uh, sprint car game was just how much you needed to counter steer. And, uh, and they knew that. They took the feedback from all the people uh, that bought the game, all the community feedback, and threw it back into this game to give them what they wanted as far as feel goes. And I got to say, I played this with a uh, controller and with the wheel, 
And you're also seeing that dirt start to uh, accumulate all over the car. But the dirt uh, physics are just way better now. Way better. And, you know, for being a dirt game, that's what you want. So I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised about the actual amount of, uh, of challenge there is to drive these cars now compared to, you know, before you would just turn it left and then, okay, like we already spun it out right there. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. Get up through all our gears here. Only three at this track. This car is capable of doing five gears. Let's try to do our best here. Let's see where we end up here for the, the heat racing. Got my hands full here. There we go. I'm starting to figure it out now. Once you kind of catch those slides a little bit better, I'm just barely giving it any break getting into that corner, which is helping. There we go. All right, let's see where we end up here. 22nd. Okay, well, definitely got some work cut out for us uh, for that one. Starting in heat two, though. Sixth. We'll take that 100%. Uh, who got the pole? Let me guess. It wasn't Tony Stewart this time. It was Abby King got the pole. And Jason Reed taking second. Third, Tony Stewart. Fourth, Brittany Baker. And fifth, uh, it's going to be uh, Jesse Agard. So, wow. I'm ready to go heat racing. I'm happy with the car. I don't think we need to loosen it up any more than that. Let's just do it. Top five advance to the A main and top two advance to the qualified dash, of course. And it looks like it's going to be an evening race here, not under the lights just yet. Get ready to take the green flag here under AI control. There we go. Get through our gears. It's third gear there. Take it a little easy here. Cars are getting squirrely. Whoa, hello. There we go. Much better. Slow down here for this corner. Four laps to go. We need to do something a little better here. Let's try not to wreck him out, but I think I am faster than this guy in front of me. I really do think that. There we go. Let's try to send it in here. And power around him like that. He's coming back for more, though. Try to stick to that inside lane. Oh, he's there. Contact there with him. Try to get our leaderboard up so we can find out who that is. Jerry Anderson trying to get by us. One lap to go. Jerry Anderson gets by us. We got to send it all the way down into this corner. There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll take seventh. Man, we got to find some more speed in this thing. Maybe we do need to make it a little looser, but now we advance to the B main, starting sixth. All right, going to do some outside view action on this one. Ready to go green. Green flag in the air. Get up into the third gear here. And the fun has begun. The only problem with the outside view on this one is that, man, I can't tell how, you know, far I am from the bumper of the car in front of me there. That's okay. I'm also noticing I'm getting a lot more sideways than these guys are on this track. Didn't seem to be the case for the, uh, the big blocks. Slow down here a little bit more. Yeah, see, I couldn't tell how far I was from uh, Martinez there for a second. And I didn't want to hit him. Oh, well, like like that. So, yeah, outside view, definitely not for me. Maybe you like it, but uh, it's not for me. Let's go back inside view. Let's actually do the cockpit view. Here we go. This is my style right here. Six to go. I need to get to the bottom of the track. The top is just killing us in speed, and we're just taking people out doing it. That's okay. It's like one of those things where, you know, you got to slow down to be faster. That is the case here at this track. Got around him, no problem. We'll take fifth from him. Four laps to go. Can we make it to the qualifier? I don't know. Qualified Ash. We're definitely trying. More of them. Oh man, yeah, I almost wrecked it there. Use a little, a little bit less brake than that, and then slider through. Two to go. And now I'm pedaling to try to keep the uh, speed going here, because the brake was just you know slowing us down way too much. But yeah, I'm definitely turning sideways way more than these AI cars are. 
All right. Fifth in the B main finish. Woo. We made it to the A main starting 25th. Oh, man. Well, it's about to get interesting. Welcome to the A main. And uh, it's not under the lights, actually. It's going to be in the evening time. Let's see if we can get uh, get done here. I'm going to go to the, the uh, hood view. There we go. Here we go, green. Green flag in the air. Get through our gears there, and let's work our way up through the field here. A little contact there already with Cooper, but uh, that's all right. We're definitely going to be making contact with some drivers in these cars. Slow down a little bit more there. Maybe they're driving it right and I'm not because th they seem to be turning left a lot more than right and they are destroying me a little bit there 18 laps to go still going full send into the corners to try to get it done there we go now I'm starting to find this uh, the rhythm of the track you know I don't have to turn my wheel so much once I get a slide going I can just catch it and hold it there Although, man, wow. Anderson Jr. Careful there, bud. Robinson just threw it down in there a minute ago and slid right past us with a slide job. And uh, now we're making quicker work of uh, Nelson, just trying to get it done. I seem to be favoring the outside lane, and I don't mean to. I just can't get the car to pin down on the inside too well. I mean, I should have made the car a little looser on entry, but that's okay. If it was my career mode, I would be doing that. And we will be checking out the career mode before too long. Just wanted to do a quick first look and show you what to expect of this one. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, me and uh, Brett Brown there, Brent Brown, we were neck and neck it's all about how much I'm breaking I'm finding I'm just making way more gains by proper breaking into these corners oh here he comes again though Brent Brown on the inside try to pinch him there it's not gonna work nine laps to go although I gotta say being 15th in the A main I'm pretty blown away by that there we go full send send it on in there Eight laps to go now. And now we have somebody else out of the woodwork. Zach Henderson Jr. And he made that pass no problem. We're going to try it on the inside here without wrecking him. Not able to get there just yet. There we go. Oh, and we made contact with him. So far, it seems to be our, our signature move is wrecking people for those positions. I'm not trying to do it. I am trying to avoid them. But you can see the dirt and mud getting caked all over the front of our car. That is a cool little addition that they did add. Because in uh, Tony Stewart's sprint car, it was just uh, too... The cars were too pristine at the end of the race, and if you've been to a real dirt, you know, racetrack, you'll notice that uh, that's not the case by any means. All right, now we're starting to catch our slides much, but a little bit of break there, back into the gas and committing. I just seem to be favoring the outside lane with my setup. I can't get it to turn any more than that. There we go. We're just getting our butt panted to us right now. There we go. Inside lane is just... you got to get to that inside lane, man. It's so much quicker. There we go. Like that. We're fighting for a 15th, 15th position here. All right, we'll take 15th in that one. That was that was tough. That was tough. So they're uh, they were pretty difficult at expert on uh, on the legend cars. So who won the race? Well, that was Abby King. Look at that! Congrats to Abby King for that one. Brittany Baker, Jesse Agard, and then uh, Jason Reed and Tommy Bailey rounding out the top five. All right, so now we're jumping into the street stocks and checking these out. We got Samantha Bell, Robbie Collins, Ricky Cox. We got Ned Hill, Chase Jones, 
Kevin Murphy, Harry Nelson, Brian, uh, Tony Stewart there on the 14. Uh, then Stewart has a few paint schemes as well. Steve Ward. And that rounds it out. And this is my custom uh, driver I have set up here. Let's go to Slide Rock Ridge Raceway. It's a 4 tenth mile track that has a dog leg in it, kind of like Phoenix. Two ticks to the right, so we're at 75% uh, loose. I'll select that setup, and uh, we're just going to jump straight into qualifying. All right, get through my gears here. Three gears in this car. Go to the inside view here. Check it out. Pretty cool. Next to that wall, and let me drive her sideways. These cars are way more forgiving than the, uh, the other two. So even though the uh, street stocks were at the very end of the list... That doesn't mean that they're, uh, you know, harder to drive or anything to do with that. Put the wall there like a dummy. So if you're just new to uh, to this game or dirt racing in general, um, this is going to be the car you're going to want to jump into first to try to learn. I'm not doing so hot jumping out of those uh, legends to this right now. But we are trying to get something done here on the second lap. That dog leg is weird. All right, not good at all. That performance was so pitiful. We're in heat four, so we're going to go in and uh, change it. Uh, well, we're just going to see what we can do here. All right, heat four, you know how it goes. Top five advance to the A main, top two to the qualified dash. We have got to do something here. Starting behind the nine car. Green flag in the air. Let's get through our gears. And down into turn one we go. And everybody's sideways down here in one in between them. Oh, man. And with the, um, with these cars, you can beat and bang a lot more than you can the others because, you know, they're not open wheeled. Four laps to go. I'm going to drive this inside lane here. There we go. Let's find balance in the car here. Oh, contact with Ricky Cox. Oh, and Ricky, that was Jimmy Williams we got into there. Sorry, Jimmy. Oh, almost wrecked the car completely there. Wow. I got caught out there. Got a little too cocky with the... All right, all right. Beating them, banging a little bit here up into the wall. Because we are like three wide there for a second as we're almost about to wreck the eight car. There we go. They're just destroying us in a straight line. Actually, it's the bottom lane. We need to get back on the bottom. We were doing so good. Two laps to go. Stick it to the bottom here because that just seems to be the, the best way around this track. The outside lane was not doing anything for us. Man, I'm making wild saves on the wheel. That's what I'm saying. It's really surprising how difficult it is to get around the track in one of these cars with a wheel. I was not expecting it, but I'm happy to see it for sure. All right, we'll take seventh in heat four. We can, uh, we can do better. We move to the B main. I'm going one more tick loose, 87% loose. Let's see if that helps us out here in the B main. We need to get to a top five. Ready to go green racing, green flag in the air. Now I know I need to get to the bottom immediately. Sooner the better. Big contact in the 91, almost wrecked the 205. Keep it together here, Jeff. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say we made this thing a little loose. Just a tick. Get our leaderboard back up here. Man, they really do send it down in those corners. But uh, I don't feel bad leaning on them too hard in this car. There we go. Leon Cooper, I'm coming for you, man. If I can. We have this guy coming behind us here, the uh, Al Carpenter. And there we go. Get the car... A little more straight here. We get more speed. So I'm finding that it's, uh, you know, it's all about that balance in the middle of the corner because we didn't have that issue when we were out front. It's when you're avoiding the other cars, you you know, it almost feels like it makes you overdrive them too much. There we go. Much better. Still not great by any means, but we're fighting try to get a top five position and I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Not with this car. Not with our setup. And I'm watching them. They're, it looks like they're driving just off the bottom. I'm going to try that out for a bit more to go. Five to go here. 
We need a miracle to get into the fifth position. But well, we are making gains on them by running the middle lane. So let's keep doing it. There we go. Getting a little better. I just don't know if we're going to have enough time to, to make anything with it. There we go. Come on, send it in there, baby. There we go. Come on. We're in fifth. Come on, three to go. Trying to make it into the main. Hold them off if you can. Let's drive smart. That middle lane is fast here. You see right where they're they're hanging out in that groove. That's exactly where you want to be. Although here comes the other one to try to bomb it in there. Two to go. We do what we can to get into the main. I don't think they're uh, going to be happy if we have to uh, make contact with them to do it. But we're going to mirror drive the hell out of them right now. Here they come. They're going to bomb it all the way down in here. One to go. There's the contact there. There's the 35. Come on. I'm going to send it back into them. That's what I'm going to do. It's not going to be enough. Not enough. 35 screwed us at the end. And we end up with sixth. That was frustrating. We're not happy with Mr. Devin Reynolds off of that one. But it was a racing deal. He did do a slide job on us. It just cost us a bunch of time. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the final with those cars. They're fun to drive. They really are. Yeah, 26th, we know. And Tony Stewart wins when it was all said and done here at Slide Rock Ridge. Well, before we say goodbye, um, I do want to show you my driver and my cars. It's uh, pretty much what we have seen before as far as uh, what you can do with your driver. You have different styles of helmets, base patterns, all this stuff here. Uh, then you have outfit coloring, uh, your different uh, sponsors you can change out for your driver. You can even do presets uh, as well. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yes, yeah, we can change out the presets, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, save that. I haven't touched any of it yet anyway, so it's fine with me. Uh, and then my cars, uh, I know a lot of people want to see this, so... Um, you can go in the same thing. You can do, uh, you know, go in and select what series you want. Uh, and then you jump into your uh, base paint, colors, patterns, uh, all that stuff. You have intensity of those. Then uh, you have stripes, uh, three colors of those. Uh, then you can move into decals and you have a bunch to choose from there. These are all of the, the different ones. And then uh, you go into the numbers, which everybody wants to know. Uh, you go to number entry and you can put in any number you want, including uh, numbers that uh, weren't allowed last time. So there's that. And then you have different fonts for those. So they give you how many fonts? Three, four, four fonts to choose from. And then a style of those. And then you can change the layout as well on the top. Uh, the fill gradient uh, as far as patterns go. I have a gradient, star field, diamond. Those are options there, accents and outlines for that. So not a massive paint booth or anything there, but uh, it gets the job done for sure. Don't save that because I do love what I've done with my car. Uh, you'll have a championship mode, split screen mode if you want to do that with a friend on the couch, uh, online multiplayer like we talked about, and uh, a whole career mode. So we'll start our career next time, and, uh, and that will be that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode and uh, this video of... Tony Stewart's All-American Racing. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Be sure to check it out. Comes out on Friday. Take care.